This video will provide a practice test on supply and demand for those in introductory economics courses and even those in intermediate microeconomics courses, managerial economics courses, you will find this video, I believe, beneficial. Let's start with question one. The correct answers are going to be given in bold. So the law of demand states that B, as the price of a good falls, people will buy more of the good, and C, price and quantity demanded are negatively related. You can stop or pause this video at any time if you want to spend a little bit more time with the question. One thing I'll point out here, D is incorrect. As the price of a good rises, the demand decreases. That's incorrect. When demand decreases, we're talking about the curve shifting, in this case shifting to the left. That's not consistent with the idea of law of demand. Law of demand states as the price goes up or down, we're just moving along the demand curve. So for question D to be correct, it should state the quantity demanded decreases. Question two, which of the following factors will cause an increase in demand? C and D are going to be the correct answers here. Question three, which of the following factors will increase demand? A and C are going to be the correct answers here. If the price of a complement good falls, such as the price of Blu-ray disc, the demand for Blu-ray players will increase. And C is also a correct answer. When tastes become more favorable towards a product, demand rises. Question four, which of the following factors will shift the demand curve leftward? A, a decrease in income for normal good. Normal good is something that you'd buy more of as your income rises, or just the opposite, a good that you'd buy less of as your income falls. So a decrease in income would lead to a decrease in demand. Question five, suppose the demand for electric guitars increases, what happens to the equilibrium price and quantity of electric guitars? that will cause the equilibrium price to rise and the equilibrium quantity to rise. Suppose the price of guitar lessons falls. What happens to the equilibrium price and quantity of electric guitars? Here the clue is electric guitars and guitar lessons are complement goods. So if the price of guitar lessons falls, it's going to be more appealing for people to want to pick up and play guitar. So the demand for electric guitars increases raising its price and raising its equilibrium quantity. Question seven. If the price of bass guitars falls, a substitute good for electric guitars, what happens to the equilibrium price and quantity of electric guitars? Well, playing the bass guitar will become more appealing as its price falls, so the demand for electric guitars will fall, leading to a lower equilibrium price for electric guitars and a lower equilibrium quantity. Question eight, electric guitars are a normal good. What happens to the equilibrium price and quantity of electric guitars during a recession? During a recession, income falls, wealth falls uh, as people become unemployed. So the demand for normal goods will decrease, leading to a lower equilibrium price and lower equilibrium quantity. Question nine, which of the following factors will cause the equilibrium price and quantity of a product to rise? all of the above. All of these factors will cause the demand for a product to shift right, leading to a higher equilibrium price and quantity. Question 10. Which of the following factors will cause the equilibrium price and quantity of a product to fall? An increase in input prices? No, that's something that affects the supply side of the market. B and C are the correct answers here. So. B and C are both correct. Moving on to a question 11. The market demand is A, the summation of each consumer's demand curve. That is correct. And that is the only answer choice here that is correct. C would be correct if we put in the word horizontally. That's technically how you find a market demand curve by horizontally summing 
each individual consumer's demand curve. Question 12, some supply questions now. The law of supply states that A, as the price of a good rises, the quantity supplied increases. Question 13, which of the following factors shifts the supply curve rightward? A and D, an increase in the number of sellers and technological advancements will shift supply rightward or cause it to increase. Answer choices B and C will lead to a decrease in supply. Question 14, an increase in supply will occur from C, more sellers entering the market. Answer choices A and B are something that affects the demand side of the market, and D is something that will cause the supply curve to decrease higher oil prices or input prices. Question 15, environmental regulations increase the cost of making electric guitars. What happens to the equilibrium price and quantity of electric guitars? So this will cause the supply curve de to decrease, shift to the left. That will raise the equilibrium price and cause the equilibrium quantity to decrease. Question 16, the number of guitar sellers increases. What happens to the equilibrium price and quantity of electric guitars? Supply shifts right, pushing down its price, but increasing the equilibrium quantity. Question 17, the wood used to make electric guitars becomes scarce, causing its price to rise. What happens to the equilibrium price and quantity of electric guitars? When the price of inputs goes up, supply decreases, causing the equilibrium price to rise and the equilibrium quantity to fall. Question 18. New production technology reduces the cost of producing guitars. What happens to the equilibrium price and quantity of electric guitars? The supply curve shifts right, pushing down the equilibrium price but increasing the equilibrium quantity. Question 19, equilibrium occurs where quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. Question 20, if the equilibrium price is $10, what happens in the market at a price of $7.80? You're gonna have a shortage. At a price of $7.80, quantity demanded will exceed quantity supplied a shortage or what is sometimes referred to as excess demand. Question 21, the equilibrium price is $60. What happens in the market at a price of $80? When the current price exceeds the equilibrium price, you're gonna have a surplus or excess supply. Sellers wanna sell more than consumers wanna buy at $80. Uh, this will be a market imbalance of a surplus. Question 22, how does the market eliminate a shortage? We expect the price to rise as consumers, uh, in their frustration to get uh, their hands on this product, they will bid the product's price higher. Question 23, how does the market eliminate a surplus? We expect the price to fall as sellers are frustrated that they're producing all of this product that they can't sell it all. Uh, sellers will try to lower the price to rid themselves of this excess merchandise. Question 24, suppose demand and supply increase at the same time, what happens to the equilibrium price and quantity? When demand rises, price goes up. When supply rises or increases, price falls. We don't know what's gonna happen to the price here. It could go up, could go down, it could stay the same. It's gonna depend on the magnitude of the shifts in demand and supply. As for the equilibrium quantity, however, it will definitely rise. When demand shifts right, equilibrium, the equilibrium quantity will go up. When supply shifts right, that too will increase the equilibrium quantity. So at the same time then, if demand and supply are both shifting right, we can be certain that the equilibrium quantity will rise. Question 24, 25, we observe in the market for lemons, the equilibrium price has increased and the equilibrium quantity has decreased. What could have caused this change? a decrease in supply. The supply curve shifts to the left, pushing up the equilibrium price. Consumers buy less at higher prices, so the equilibrium quantity will fall. Question 26, what happens at a price of $8?
at a price of eight dollars consumers reading off the demand curve want to buy one unit sellers want to sell seven units so there is a surplus in the market of seven minus one or six this horizontal distance between the demand and supply curve is six units um, wide so that is going to be the surplus seven minus one or six and since we're measuring it in thousands we can call that six thousand pounds of asparagus how about at a price of two dollars at two dollars we come across and sellers reading off the supply curve want to buy one unit buyers want to buy four units since buyers want to buy more than sellers want to sell we have a shortage the shortage is just four minus one or three or three thousand pounds of asparagus question twenty seven if scientists learn that eating asparagus can prevent baldness what will happen to the equilibrium price the demand will shift right pushing the equilibrium price above four dollars question twenty eight a technical question demand is given by q equals forty four minus four p and supply is given by q equals two p minus sixteen what is the equilibrium price and quantity what we want to do is set both equations equal to one another Okay, so we're going to set quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied. We're going to solve for P. So adding 4P to the right-hand side and adding 16 to the left-hand side, we're going to get 6P equals 60. Solving for, P, solving for P, the equilibrium price, it's $10. The equilibrium quantity, plug this $10 back into either demand or supply. To get your answer, I plugged it back into the supply equation, and we found that the equilibrium quantity is 4. Question 29. If people buy more of good X because the price of good Y falls, good X and good Y are B, complement goods. If the price of good Y falls, such as the price of Blu-ray discs, then the demand for Blu-ray players rises. Blu-ray players and Blu-ray discs our complement goods. Question 30. If people buy more of good X because the price of good Y rises, good X and good Y are substitute goods. Good X may be Coke, good Y may be Pepsi. So yes, if the price of Pepsi rises, uh, we'd expect that the demand for Coke will increase and people will buy more Coke. And that is the end. Hope you found this helpful.